here. Hey, oh. easy on that. Kids around. I sat vigil by your bed. Took care of your daughter. I nearly killed myself with worry, and you're fine? <laughs> Why? Greenlee. Of course. I should have known. It's not like that. What is it, it like? It, Greenlee wants to leave David. She, she tried, but he won't let her. I don't know what that means. He's blackmailing her. He's forcing her to stay married to him. Otherwise, he's going to pin Erica's plane crash on her. Did she? N no, no, he did. So what does this have to do with your relapse? Well, I thought I could see something was going on with Greenlee. I could tell, but she wasn't giving it up, so... I thought that if she believed... What I believed? I'm sorry. And now? Now I'm, I'm trying to get the goods on, on Hayward. I'm trying to prove that he's, he's the one behind all of this. While well, he and the rest of the world think you're holed up in here. Just didn't know that the rest of the world included me. I, I hated keeping that from you. I did. I, I wanted I wanted to tell you. So why didn't you? Because the more people that knew, the more chance there was that David was going to find out about this. So if it works, if you do nail Hayward, Greenlee will be free. Yes. Well, I mean, free from Hayward, free to live her own life. Not, but hey, I'm serious, that's it. Then why should I believe you? All right, this shouldn't take too long. I just need to pick up a few files. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. I was just trying to remember how much nicer it was around here when the Slater's left town. Dr. Kravitz, a visitor in the main lobby. What's she doing here? Just give me a minute, all right? That's amazing. No, it's okay, Greeny. I, I told Madison everything she knows. I'll let you two talk alone then. No, no. I want you to stay. Look what we found. Uh, a pine cone. How cool is that? I love that. Yeah, that's nice what I was just saying. Give me a hug. This. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. It's so hug. good to see Give you. Give me a hug. Hi. Hi. Mm. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, down we go. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, thanks for taking care Ian's of the boys. Oh, no problem. They were great. Ian's already asleep upstairs. Oh, good. Yeah. Not to mention, it's probably good for my girls to be around some testosterone once in a while. Yeah, I think there's plenty of that to go around on this side of the family. I'd yeah. say that. Uh, speaking of testosterone. I didn't realize we had visitors. Uh, Caleb Cooney. This is my sister, Kendall, and her husband, Zach Slater. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah. 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 Excuse me. Caleb's my roomie. Oh. I'm not a roomie. So, how long are you guys planning on staying? Just a couple of days. I got some meetings to take. Yeah, plus we would like uh, for the boys to spend some time with their cousins. Oh, Miranda and Gabby would love that. Oh, good. Yeah. This is this is my favorite time of year in Pine Valley. You know, the last few days of summer, right before fall. I think it would be great if Spike and Ian could share that with us. We can always do it next year, maybe next year. You know, before you guys got here, Spike requested a full tour. You mind if I show him around? No, please, go for it. Okay. Hey, come on, bud. Let's bring these guys. Come and see us some carrots with our horses. Have fun, Spike. Spike. Choo, 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 choo. Thank you. For what? For not telling David what Ryan and I were up to. You really thought I was going to say something? Well, you seemed angry enough at the time, and you, you still do. 
I think if you would just step back... Oh, I don't need to take a step back. I can see everything very clearly. All right, well, clearly, you're angry. I'm not... I'm, well, I'm, I'm not, uh... Not angry that we were going to help Greenlee. I would have helped with that. Okay, well, then why? I'm angry that you told me that Ryan was dying. If you told me that Greenlee needs help, I would have been on board. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Not trusting me? No, Zach, I do trust you. It's just that... It's just what? You come here and you get caught up. Every time you get caught up. Thanks for proving my point. Do you really have to go? I do. I'm sorry. Another fire to put on the Chandler. I can't wait till morning. Okay. Well, I'll see you when you get home. Okay. okay. Hey. Hi. Is AJ okay? Yeah. Uh, Mercer's ginger ale remedy did the trick. I'm glad. What? I'm just... A little concerned about Marissa. She was kind of like losing it before. Did you see the way she snapped at me? Can you blame her? Um, yeah. Nothing happened between us at the cottage. We told her that. Yeah, but it's not that easy. Seeing us together alone like that, all it did was remind her how I broke her heart. But you didn't do anything. This time? It's gonna be a long time before she believes me again. Trust in me again. <sighs> huh. To think we're patting ourselves on the back. Impressed with our restraint, and then we get in trouble anyway. Yeah, well, you and Scott, you're good, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm But we could be better. And for that to happen, I need your help. <laughs> 